Hi, welcome back to Insight 2014. We're here on the show floor, Insight Central. I'm Richie Jennings, and I'm joined by Cynthia Stoddard from NetApp. Nice to be here, Rich. It's great to have you here. Uh, Cynthia, for the three people on Earth who don't know what you do, give us a quick summary. Well, I'm the uh, CIO of NetApp, and what that means is I have responsibility for all the uh, technology within the company. And I really split my role into three areas, working with the business, working with my team, setting the vision, and then also working with our customers and partners. And I really enjoy that part of my role. That's, yeah, so that's an interesting departure for the typical CIO, right? It, it is, it is, because there is definitely a customer-facing component to my role. Mm. And I guess a lot of that revolves around this uh, NetApp on NetApp program that I keep hearing about. And, you know, uh, I'm told never to use the dog food phrase, but hey, whatever. Uh, drinking your own champagne, you prefer. That's yeah. absolutely right, yes. Right. yes. Using we your like own... To, we like to use the phrase drinking our own champagne. That, that, makes, that's, that sounds much nicer, yeah. Um, there's another phrase, though, that I'm hearing that I don't understand, and maybe you could help me understand what it is. Uh, customer one? Yes, yes. So NetApp on NetApp, just to put it in context a little bit, NetApp on NetApp is the program where you know, we meet with customers, we participate in ABCs, we share our best practices on NetApp product in a lot of different areas. Could be service management, security, many different, many different topics that are top of mind for IT organizations and build those relationships. But the customer one part of the program is extremely critical. And what that means is we are actually customer one. So as NetApp product comes out of engineering, we receive it, we test it, we put it through its paces in a real life environment. And then we have a feedback loop back to the engineering group and then back through our customer support group. So we can, we can give our experiences, report them back, you know, if we happen to find some problems, report those back as well. And you know, the whole purpose is to ensure that customer two has a great experience with our product. <laughs> Customer two, right, yes. love it, yes, okay. So every IT organization needs a strategy, right? Otherwise, they don't know where they're going. What's yours? That's absolutely right. Every IT organization should have a strategy, and a strategy can be very, very broad. Um, so what we've done within NetApp IT is we've really anchored on four different pillars. The first is uh, leading with the customer, putting the customer in the center of everything that we do, and that's both our internal customer and our external customers and partners. The second is really leading with architecture and making sure that we have architecture principles, that we have strategies, that we have roadmaps that are consumable and that we can execute against. The third area is really leading with innovation. Leading with innovation can mean many different things, but we tend to say innovate for business sake. So this could be new technology that adds value or it could be a change to a process. And the fourth area which I consider to be really, really important is leading with people. And this is investing in the staff, making sure that we have the right people in the right seats, that we're looking at their future, we're looking at ensuring that they have the skills and everything that they need to be successful in their career. And I suppose that's last but not least, right? It is absolutely last but not least. It is the most important component because the technology, you know, I'll say the technology can be easy, but the people are what make the technology special. So uh, I bet you have an armful of great tips that you could give to your fellow CIOs. Give us a few cool secrets. Well, um, I will start by uh, talking about cloud tips about the cloud, because I think that's top of mind with a lot of people today. Um, I would say that people, sometimes it's hard to determine where to start with the cloud. So one of the things that I like to recommend to people is really have a strategy and have an architecture. And then when you have your architecture, you know, put some context around that so you can make decisions against that architecture. You know, one of the things that we've done within NetApp IT is we built a cloud decision framework. And that cloud decision framework allows us to look at attributes that are important to us and then direct the workload to the right place. The second area that I would, I would say is, you know, look for a difficult area within your company and try to use a technology like cloud to address it. A, Example, dif a difficult area? Yeah, a ah, difficult area. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. So like Shadow IT. 
Aha. Uh -huh. And and then say, why would why would a business user even go to use Shadow IT? Well, sometimes it's because the IT organization hasn't set up their services to be responsive. So I would say, ah, ah yeah. So I would say, figure out what they're doing, and then can you go to the cloud and craft a solution in order to solve that business needs? In our case, we did that. We did that with the service that we set up called NCloud because we had a shadow IT problem and we determined that people were going around because we didn't give them the tools that were responsive. So we built a tool set within the cloud that is self-service and now people can build departmental applications within a, within a framework. And it's been extremely successful. Cool. So, because I mean, the temptation it always seems with the, shall we say, the typical CIO, is not to ask why are people doing this and you know what are we doing wrong, but to enforce and to say no, these are the standards you must do that. And basically, your advice to other CIOs is, yeah, you've got that the wrong way around. Uh, I would say yes, because the way the reason that we exist is to enable. So we need to look at why people are working around the process, which means we're not enabling the right way. So if you can be open and transparent and say, hey, I need to change, and that's what we actually did in NetApp IT, is we tried to change from the inside out, I think you'll have a better relationship with your users going forward. The last area that I would encourage people, especially in the cloud, is going back to the people. And the people both on the business side and the people within IT and explain what cloud means so that everybody has the same uh, grounding, the same understanding. Because cloud means different things to different people. Right. So it's important to set that up that understanding with the business to have the right governance and then educate the IT staff. Because they need to know it's a new technology, a new architecture, and they're not going to become obsolete. And in our case, one of the things that we did is we created a training program called Cloud 101. And that levels everybody on what cloud is and what it isn't, and how they can reuse their skills in the, in the organization. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting. So that's so bringing back, bringing us back to the people again, and that's clearly a common theme in your world. Cynthia, it's been fantastic talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for those insights. Yeah, thank you. She's been Cynthia Stoddard from NetApp. I've been Richie Jennings. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.